Hi, welcome to Queen's Consciousness, the Black Panther edition. I am Kito Johori. And I am Maureen Asantewa, novelist and creative. And I am a self-mastery and image and identity specialist. So we wanted to bring to you um, our level of consciousness about what a queen is, who a queen is, and the relevance of the queens, the different types of queens in the Black Panther movie. Uh, we're going to hone in on two of our special ones that we decided to, that just really resonated with us. And we want to see if it resonates with you as well. So again, what is a queen? Yeah, Akita, what is a queen? We were talking about that the other day. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that you mentioned was a queen was was um, a woman with sovereignty. Can you explain that? Yes. I, a queen is a, fem a female sovereign being, meaning she's operating from her power and her authority, from her truth, her authenticity, and um, from a position that is unprecedented to any other. So that is definitely what a queen is, you know, as a collective, as a whole. She knows her power and her authority, and she operates from that. Absolutely. Um, everything that you said resonates with me. And in my opinion, not only is a queen everything that you said, a queen is also a woman who is very centered. When I think of what a queen is, it's a woman who's centered. And even though the environment and her surroundings are going like, um, for example, a hurricane or a whirlwind, or there's a lot being thrown at her, a queen like the eye of the storm is the center of power. And to me, that is one of the fundamental things about being a queen and a fundamental aspect of a queen consciousness. Yes, she, the way that you're summing it up is, a queen has a high level of emotional intelligence. She knows how to navigate on the waters of our emotions and she controls it, she manages, she chooses how she's going to respond from a intellectual level and from a heart space, from her truth. But she uses her intelligence to um, navigate through those those waters of emotion. So right. high level of emotional intelligence. Absolutely. Yes. And the theme of, of a queen is what really brought us together for this life this live stream or this yes. taping because we both um, really respect the queen consciousness. Mm -hmm. For me, in the pen name that I use, uh, Maureen Asantewa, Asantewa is the name of a, a Ghanaian queen, a queen warrior, in fact, and we'll be getting into the two different archetypes, the queen mother and the queen warrior a little bit later, but um, we were joined together to kind of discuss the the queen consciousness, the queen archetypes. And it's what really um, brought us together, that common theme of being a queen and what we do related to queendom. Absolutely. As, as also as true believers, we operate and we know that God has a kingdom. And as children from the most high, um, in order to really reign in our sovereignty, we must know that we are queens and kings and return to that level of consciousness and knowing that our truth, because we have been labeled and um, veils and mm -hmm. weights have been put upon us and identities that aren't our truth. Amen. And so we came together, um, one, as sisters, and as royal royalty and royalty to own that and to share that message with the rest of the world, the rest of you, for you to take on your queen consciousness and the power of that identity, the power to see. It. And that's what we really love of, you know, about the Black Panther movie and being able to see these queens, to see them and their resolve and their power, like to see yourself. If you can't see yourself in an image, you can't really relate to the world in a way that is authentic. You will always live um, an imposter, have an imposter syndrome. You won't feel real and true. Um, so now I believe this movie is bringing to light what a lot of us have been feeling, 
Mm-hmm. But now we get to see it and it's modeled out there for us on a different level. It's like, yeah, right, we're validated. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we are able in this movie to see ourselves as royal, to see ourselves as queens, to see ourselves as dignified people, to see people that look like us as superheroes, as warriors, as queens, as kings, as everything, protectors and advisors. And it's just a beautiful thing. And um, those characters were very powerful. I am still thinking about Okoye, the warrior queen, and Ramonda, the queen, wo- the queen mother, pardon me. And she knows the names. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so before I get into what I saw um, as a warrior queen in Okoye and Nakia, um, Kito is going to discuss about the queen mother. Yes, I really resonate being a mother myself and going through life as a mother and as, you know, transforming from a girl to a woman to, you know, owning that, you know, getting out of that princess syndrome and really saying, you know, my, my kingdom, my queendom, my family, my circle, my tribe, my I own that. I, you know, as a as a queen mother, she's very nurturing and protective of them all, not just some. If they're part of hers, she's protective of them. Um, she had the ability to, with her intuition, to know when something was coming in that was going to quickly bring down the kingdom. And she was the first one to speak. And oftentimes, queens are the first ones to speak up and stand out when others may not even listen. They, she's usually ahead of the of the trends, let's say that, um, because she can see what others may not be able to see because she's operating from a spiritual realm, which as queens and queen mothers, we tend to do. And intuition is very critical. Um, her being able to lose it all and have to retreat, you know, into the wilderness, but she was not going to just retreat. She was going looking for help. She was still about the mission. She was still about protecting. Like, she was not going to give up her territory or, you know, it's not even about it being hers. It's about the people. It was about the generations, the nations, the community. And the queen conscious, the queen mother consciousness is very much like that. She's nurturing. She's loving. She's protective. She's graceful. Her strength. And she's the... I think my friend says she's the quiet power. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have to, you know, she don't have to pull out her weapons. Her quiet power, her power, her superpower is her love and her grace. That's beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> and we all have a little bit of queen mother in we us, do. right? You we don't do. have to be a mother to have that queen mother consciousness inside. Yes. And um, for example, not to get off, but you can see that with Oprah Winfrey. She True. doesn't have. She's definitely a queen mother. I feel like she's my mom. Right. Mom. <laughs> no offense, but she's like the other mom. Okay. And before her, Maya Angelou. Yes. She's definitely a queen yes. mother. And yes. I don't know if Maya Angelou had children. I don't remember that. But remember she felt like a mother. Being both of them going through like pregnancies or something in that right. nature. I don't know if they li- I think Maya too. Okay, but, but she yeah. felt like a mother to totally, many people as well. Totally. So yes, totally. that's a good example. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, in a way, it, and it's just like an opposing force, we'd have the warrior queen mm. consciousness. And like the queen mother consciousness, we all have a warrior queen inside of us. Either you have that as your regular archetype that you always um, show, or you have that warrior queen inside of you when the situation commands mm. for it. Yes. So a warrior queen is a woman who, when she has to protect herself or her loved ones or anything that is of value for her, she raises up arms. And these could be literal arms, like in the movie Black Panther with Okoye and Nakia with their weapons and also Shuri at times. Or they can be figurative arms, you know, just protect. You can do that strategically. I'm always thinking about um, the story of Nanaya Santewa, who um, I look up to, she's a queen, queen, warrior queen and a queen mother from where I'm from. And when the men wouldn't fight, she at the age of 60 said, 
come on women, we're going to fight. So I look at that warrior queen spirit as a spirit that helps me get through hard times or a spirit that helps me get things done and also helps me stand my ground so that when I need to be protective and it can be of my space in any type of way, um, I move forward with uh, power and also with grace and dignity. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, um, Every, every state or each state or each consciousness is very important for the collective because as women, you know, we wear many hats, we play different roles at different times, and they all must express themselves for us to be a whole total, total um, beingness in our sovereignty, to mm -hmm. own that power and that authority and the authenticity of who we are, that truth. It's a wholeness of it. And being able to integrate those mm -hmm. aspects mm -hmm. and like my sister here said, you know, channeling them, you can channel, you can you can call on it. It's ancestral, just like in the movie. What do they do? When you honor your ancestors, the power that we get when we take the moment to recognize and realize and give honor, like we are really not alone in this thing. We have ancestors who are in our blood and in our DNA that we can draw from, call upon, and that's the power of being able to tap into the collective consciousness of a queen. So we invite you to explore your queen consciousness. Who are you? Who are you becoming? What queen have you not given enough attention to that you should develop your consciousness of who she is? And who is inside of your DNA that is wanting to express their fullness mm -hmm. of the queen that will help you to evolve into your sovereignty that you can call upon the ancestors to bless you with that grace. So, Yes, and if you'd like to know about other queen consciousness, we'd be happy to discuss them. We've got the beauty queen consciousness, the power queen consciousness, the renaissance queen consciousness, all types of queen consciousness that we can discuss. So, you know, just contact us, give us a like, you know, whatever, and um, let us know that you enjoyed hearing about the different consciousness and you want to hear more. And, um, ooh, I'm going to jump right in oh. here because <laughs> my sister here, who is a queen, and queens collaborate. Let's just talk about it. Queens are collaborative and they surround themselves, we surround ourselves with other queens and we support each other, we build each other up. It is a collective consciousness. And this is a beautiful book that my sister wrote here, Tenth Year in the Sun. It's about some queens who decided to go on this journey and they made a promise to re re reunite, reunite yeah. 10 years in the future. Yeah, 10 future. years from the date of their promise. Yeah. So it talks about their journey and to womanhood and the journey and the evolution of their friendship. And this is my little book baby. <laughs> and it can be found on Amazon and if you're in Austin at Book People. Yes. And as you said, the promise, um, I work with clients from coaching and consulting, and it's about the promise. What promise are you looking to be fulfilled in your life, and what promise are you willing to keep? And that commitment to your promises and seeing it through is what a queen does and who queens are. And when you can connect and collaborate with other queens and they help push you along in your journey um, to your evolution of your sovereignty. It's just a beautiful thing. It's not always easy, mm -hmm. but it's so worth knowing who you are and who is right next to you. Yes, and I have a feeling, Keto, that people are. <laughs> I have a feeling, Keto, that people are gonna, going to want to know more you think so? from you. So where what? can they find you? you? You can find me at who you are. My name is Keto. Oh, what? so please get okay. prompt to the right. Get prompt. Prompt. Okay. So anyway, I learned uh, the flaw today. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you can find me to, um, if you want to talk about where you are right now in your level of consciousness, if you're looking for someone to help, help develop your queen consciousness, 
<laughs> excuse me, or if you're just looking to start a group with other queens, how can I do that? How can we do that in this area and get together and really evolve each other and connect on a different level? Mm -hmm. Not your traditional, please feel free to reach out to me at Kito, K I T O J O H O R R I at gmail.com, or you can find me on Facebook, of course, Instagram, it's Kito Jahari as well. So let's connect, let's let's evolve. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, love. It's the best, the very best way. Love.